Have any of you ever wondered what life in TNT was like before the war? These stories were rarely documented and many of them only remain as memories for those who lived it. Memories that will eventually fade with the passage of time. It is this slow erasure of the past that spurred Jenna Lynn James to produce and direct a short film that follows the lives of six senior citizens ranging in ages from 80 to 110. Jenna Lynn partnered with the Alzheimer's Association of Trinidad and Tobago to launch a salt prune at her alma mater, Bishop's Anstey. We are having the premiere of a documentary, a short documentary about the salt prune. And it's um, a documentary where we interview people over 80 years of age and we ask them what it was like during their childhood in Trinidad and Tobago and then the impressions of Trinidad today. The concept for Salt Prune was inspired by Jenna Lynn's personal experience with the fading memories of a loved one. Well, my mother suffers from Alzheimer's disease. We've seen a slow demise for the past 10 years to think that she's in the last stage of the disease which she cannot walk, she doesn't recognize anyone and she doesn't have a voice. So I decided early this year, 2017, that I would like to give her a voice through people who need to be identified in the television and by interviewing people who are close to her age, I thought it would be a great idea to give her that voice that she no longer has. One of these interviewees, Mr. Overand Patmore, gave some insight into what the Port of Spain area was like in his early years. I was born on Lewis Street, number one Lewis Street, that is the corner of Lewis Street and Rison Road. Mm -hmm. At that time, across from Rison Road was what we call a harvest scheme. It was undeveloped community used to go and catch crabs and that sort of thing there. It, 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 you know, it was um, soft soil and that sort of thing there. Because it was, it eventually it became reclaimed land. And um, when the Americans came here to, to set up their bases in 1971, that was part of the, that whole Woodbrook area there on, up, on, south of, on the southern side of Rice Road was um, drained and they put barracks for American troops. And another interviewee, Mr. Fitzroy Thomas, gave a funny story about his schooling experience. I'm down there, I get to Skylark and that one too. I quite know it was a bit down on me. I'm worried myself with lesson. And one day it came out, and one came first, one came second, I came third. Personally, I didn't see anything wrong with that because I could beat them when I wanted to beat them. But after the, show, the results were read out, my father let me cross the teacher and came, put me on the, the foot on the desk, threw me on the rock, and started to beat me. <laughs> Next, I wonder what he beat me for. When he finished, he shot me down and said, Never let a girl beat you death again. And from that day, a girl never beat me in death again. With 30 minutes of similar stories, a salt prune is definitely worth watching. You can even find the entire film on Jana Lynn's YouTube channel by simply searching its name. So make sure and take a look and remember to always respect your elders. I know everything was changed, but I still love the old time.